Brad Pitt has been accused of mistreating his family, but have there been warnings all along? Welcome to Beyond the Screen, I'm Nate, and these are 10 celebrities who tried to warn us about Brad Pitt. Number 10, Angelina Jolie. Brad and Angelina seemed to be the perfect couple when they got together in 2005, after starring in the film Mr. and Mrs. Smith. They claimed to have fallen deeply in love, and Brad even left his then-wife, Jennifer Aniston, to be with Jolie. Within two years of their 2014 wedding, Angelina announced that she'd be divorcing Brad Pitt, citing irreconcilable reconcilable differences. The truth is that there were allegations against Brad at the time that he may have mistreated his adopted kids and even got physical. There was apparently a private altercation that took place on a private jet involving Angie, Maddox, and Brad. And when they got home, Angelina filed for a divorce with little to no explanation as to why. While attempting to split their assets, Brad actually sued Jolie for allowing a Luxembourg manufacturer to purchase her shares in their French vineyard without asking permission. While she was silent for a long time in 2020, she revealed that the split was for the safety of herself and her kids, adding it was the right decision and she continues to focus on their healing. She also said that in an ideal world, she would live with her family overseas, as it's not only safer, but more of an adventure. Whatever that means. Considering what has been coming out about Brad this week, it seems like the situation may have been darker than we initially thought. Number nine, Mike Tyson. Brad got off easy in the late 80s when he was caught in bed with Mike Tyson's estranged wife, Robin Givens. During an in-depth conversation with Graham Bessinger, Mike called out how he got mad as heck after discovering the then relatively unknown Brad Pitt, paying Robin a visit for some alone time. The little no pants dance, if you will. Tyson said that he was going to his lawyer's office to divorce Robin that day, but he said that he you know, wanted to sneak in a quickie. Even when the relationship was crumbling and he was being exposed as a bad guy, he thought that it was a smart idea to stop by his ex-wife's house unannounced for the afternoon delight. He claimed that this day, someone beat him to the bedroom and it was Brad Pitt. His face dropped when he saw Mike Tyson come home early only moments after completion. He claims that at the time, Pitt was not the heartthrob that he was now and actually appeared to be more of a beach bum and a nerdy guy upon first glance. You would think this story ends with a brawl and bruises, but it actually ended pretty civilly. Mike said that he was afraid to throw any punches because at the time, there was some strange Brazilian karate being taught to many celebrities. He said that he was scared and thought that he should back up and just kind of let Brad go for both of their sakes. Number eight, Tom. Cruise. Despite collaborating on screen for the 1994 film Interview with the Vampire, Brad and Tom have actually spoken pretty negatively on their experiences on set. There really does seem to be zero love between these two. Pitt once revealed that working with Tom Cruise on this project left him feeling miserable, and apparently Tom just kind of bugged him, like he just really started resenting him as the film went on, claiming that Tom was a North Pole and he was the South. He also explained that there was an underlying competition that got in the way of any real conversations these two tried to have. If that wasn't bad enough, Angelina Jolie kind of stole a role from Tom Cruise that ended up being one of her best solo projects ever, which was Salt. Yeah, Salt was almost a Tom Cruise movie before the studios changed their minds last minute and decided on Angelina Jolie instead. Tom and Brad have never seen eye to eye, and considering they have yet to star in another project together, there is still clearly some bad juju left over. Number seven, Harrison Ford. In 1997, a collaboration event for the ages took place. Harrison Ford, India. Anna Jones and Brad Pitt starred together in an action thriller. Two A-listers representing different generations working together to create a film called The Devil's Own, an absolute smash at the box office. While a successful film on paper, the reality is that it came at a cost for both performers. Following the film's release, Harrison Ford went on record and said that the set was tough. It was apparently the most irresponsible bit of filmmaking, if you could even call that. The main conflict surrounded the script for this film, with Harrison and Brad having completely different ideas on how they should play things out. According to Harrison, Brad had a complex and layered character, which was something that he wanted for his character as well, so that the movie wasn't just boiled down to good versus evil. After bringing up an idea to the writers, Brad fought back, telling Harrison that his character was just fine the way he was. They fought back and forth for quite some time, trying to decide the best course of action and eventually things just got toxic and complicated. If Indiana Jones doesn't like to work with you, then there is a problem. Number six, his family. Recently, a lot of information about Brad Pitt's role as a father has been released into the world. His adoptive son, Pax, has gone on record to say that his father, Brad, is an asshole who makes his kids tremble in fear. In an Instagram post, he ranted about Brad's role in his life, and according to him, Brad is an unhinged man who will snap at a moment's notice. He wrote that Brad made the lives of those closest to him a living hell. He wrote, Happy Father's Day, you effing awful human being. He wrote that Brad has time and time again proven himself to be 
a terrible and despicable person. He has no consideration or empathy towards his four youngest children who tremble in fear when they are in his presence. He will never understand the damage he has done to his family because he is incapable of doing so. Brad has responded to these comments in the most parent way possible, saying that he's disappointed in his children, feeling they have to drag his name through the mud. Pax did not say that there was a specific event that caused this rant, but considering the split that took place between Brad and Angelina, this rant is more than likely not baseless. Number five, Kirsten Dunst. In 1994, a really solid film called Interview with a Vampire made its way to the silver screen and it featured awesome performances from its stars, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, and a young Kirsten Dunst in her first big role on screen. For this role, she played an ancient vampire trapped in the body of a child, and at one point her character is meant to lock lips with Brad Pitt, something that she remembers as one of the most embarrassing moments in her acting career. The age gap between them is one thing, with her being, you know, 11 and him being 31. The on-screen smooch between them was actually her very first one ever, and the entire thing was just unnerving, according to her. She remembered Brad as a hippie, always watching real world, sporting long, luscious hair, and everyone in her life was telling her how lucky she was to be in this position. But she thought it was disgusting, which it was. The film had apparently left her in a rough mental state, and she eventually took a break from acting and entered a rehab facility after a couple of really rough years. While she never said that Brad was the cause of her rehab stint, acting at such a young age with an actor of his caliber clearly made a negative impact on the young actress. Number four, Jennifer Aniston. Jennifer and Brad were actually married for a while, back before the whole Brangelina thing. Although they are on decent terms these days, they actually had a very messy split. Brad left Jennifer to be with Angelina after starring together in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Not only did they get together only like weeks after filing for divorce, but they were extremely public about their love for each other. In 2006, Jen was asked about her feelings about reading an article of them declaring their love, to which she was obviously annoyed. She explained that joking about it makes things better. Sticks and stones, right? She claimed that Brad could have been a bit more considerate with the situation took place, and she wished that she could just shake him and say, hey man, your timing sucks. He makes choices that were incredibly insensitive and made his choice known. He can do whatever he wants. They're divorced, right? As I said, they eventually got back to a good place and seem to be friends now, but for all the world knows, this could just be a show to keep people from making a mountain out of a molehill. Number three, Justin Thoreau. Star of The Leftovers, Justin Thoreau has made his feelings about Brad Pitt known thanks to a 2016 Instagram post filled with F words and fun. Justin is actually married to Brad's ex, Jennifer Aniston, and that might be part of the reason that he included Brad's name in this post, a piece of artwork by graffiti master Nick Flat expressing his thoughts on the impending U.S. presidential election at the time. The artwork contained a phrase that read F Brad Pitt mixed into a slew of F no-no words. Of course, Brad had nothing to do with the presidential elections, but considering his history with Justin's wife, this post makes a lot of sense. In a hashtag underneath the picture, he wrote the post was not shading anyone because Justin's not 11 years old, but his followers weren't so convinced and left comments calling him savage. Number two, Bethany Frankel. If there's one man on this planet that almost appears to be aging backwards, it's Brad Pitt. Yes, he was in Benjamin Button, and yes, it's way too long. That has nothing to do with this entry, I just wanted to say that. Apparently, Real Housewives of New York City star Bethany Frankel would disagree with the statements. While speaking on an episode of Justin B. with Bethany Frankel, the topic of skincare products was being discussed, specifically a line of products created by Jared Leto and Brad Pitt. For almost no reason, she made the comment that the actor should stick to what they know and leave skincare to the professionals. She was quoted saying that all of a sudden, all these men are fascinated with skincare. Jared Leto doing a skincare routine? <laughs> Is he gonna wear a pink headband and push his long hair back? What about Brad, huh? How does he do a skincare routine? Take a break, man. It's weird to do this. Yeah, so her concerns were weird. Uh, men and women can do anything that each other can do. Lots of men have successful clothing and makeup companies. Brad and Leto's products are for all genders. So the comments are a little bit out of nowhere, but if we listen to everything a real housewife of New York said, the world would have imploded a long time ago. Number one, Courtney Love. Courtney is not known for holding back her feelings about well, anything. During an episode of WTF with Mark Marin, the subject of one of Brad's most popular films came up, but I can't tell you the title because you're not supposed to talk about it. The whole front woman revealed that she had been lined up to portray the character Marla Singer in that film, but it eventually went to Helena Bonham Carter. Unfortunately for her, she was removed from the project last minute due to an ill-timed beef with the man casted as Tyler, aka 
Brad Pitt. The incident was related to her late husband, Kurt Cobain. Love explained that Brad had wanted to play the singer of Nirvana in a proposed biopic. However, she did not believe that Brad was the A-lister that could do this role. She recalled a conversation where she literally asked him who he thought he was. She had no trust in Brad or his ability to sell a film, and she continued to say that if Brad didn't get her, then he wouldn't get Kurt either. Love later admitted that she wished she had kept quiet because she lost a really good role, and well, that movie is just awesome. Those are celebrities that tried to warn us about Brad Pitt. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like down below and follow the channel for more celebrity content each and every day. Thank you for stopping beyond the screen, and we'll see you next time.